Hi guys, I'm Rie. Today we are doing something a little bit different. So my friend Annie drove all over LA and got me a lot of croissants and making me try them all today. How dare you? I love croissants. My stomach just made noise. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes. <laughs> I just go hungry talking about those. I like crunchy outside like when you bite it and when you touch your teeth on the exterior it shatters and I like nice lamination like when you cut it in the half there it's like so much layer airy light crispy one so this video is simply me eating croissant croissant mukbang there is no cooking hacks important information you won't learn anything from this video <laughs> I think you'll never want to eat croissants again after this. No, it's not possible. <laughs> so first up, Republic. This one is a chocolate croissant, one of my favorite and staple. Outside, nice, crunchy. I can already see nice lamination. Right, so I'm gonna cut in half, like a saw. Nice lamination. Looks like a face. <laughs> Should I put eyeballs on it? <laughs> yes, for sure. This is my first food I'm gonna eat for today. Right now it's noon, so I'm super hungry and I'm so excited. Delicious. It's not heavy, it's light. You can taste butter. I actually haven't gone to the chocolate part yet. I think it's a good quality chocolate. Whenever I eat, chocolate croissant I start eating from the bat part the first bite of the bat part is delicious <laughs> <What>? <laughs> all right next up also from Ripple Lake so this is ham and cheese croissant I feel like I eat ham and cheese croissant maybe like once in a while because I have sweet tooth but sometimes I feel like maybe I shouldn't eat cake in the morning I think it's healthier than chocolate croissant. It has protein in it. I can't. <laughs> A little swirl. Tastes like very expensive charcuterie instead of like supermarket ham. I think I shouldn't have eaten this in the beginning because I want to eat them all. Porters. Porters is institution in LA. They are super popular whenever you go there. There is a long line. It's just like, it's huge. It's like chocolate croissant on steroids. And it's dipped on the side. Let's do taste this. I actually never watch mokbang video. Do they just like eat? Do they talk? It's a nice lamination. It's like a little chocolate. Kind of nostalgic. Where is this coming from? In my brain, there is a cabinet of my croissant memories. It's filed. I think I used to eat this kind of like pastry that dipped in the chocolate when I was in high school. Also, another great thing about Porter's, it's very affordable and it's big. They also have like croquettes and stuff. So I highly recommend you to try once. Also from Porter's, Classic butter croissant. It's huge and it's so plump. It's almost look like fake. I gave Annie croissant shaped lamp for her birthday and this exactly looked like that. I think it was bigger than that chocolate croissant. Where to start? I feel like this croissant is for two people. There's a crunchy part in the middle, like right here. I'm struggling. My crunch. I also like to eat this croissant, but I think this croissant is under $2. So if you're on budget, still want to eat croissant, you should go to Portis because croissant is expensive. Ingredients cost, it's mostly butter and the butter is, you know, fluctuate. It's like a gold. <laughs> Maybe not, but... Right, so next is Sugar Bloom. They don't have storefront, but you can order ahead and pick it up. And this one is pretzel croissant. I think it might be a holy. I see 
pretzels. I think outside it's kind of like pretzel flavor. Salty. Mmm, I like this, it's savory. You know, sometimes pretzel is very dense. This croissant has a good part of pretzel, like outside, kind of multi flavor, and it's very light. Like it. Next, from Sugar Bloom, Spam Musubi Croissant. I'm super curious, because Spam. <laughs> but you know, like, why not? You have ham and cheese, Spam is type of charcuterie, right? Spam musubi is a rice spam wrapped with nori. So Steven made a video with Sugar Bloom and he made this spam croissant with her. Check it out if you're interested how to make them. Oh, nice. I love this like crunchy. Oh, does it have kimchi? What? Look, wow. Interesting. If you didn't cut it, you don't smell kimchi. So I didn't know if the kimchi was in it. I'm gonna just go center for this. Do I have kimchi on my face? This is something like I've never had new territory of croissant. It's almost eating kimchi fried rice, but there's no rice in there. I don't like spam that much, but this is great. Next one, ham and cheese croissant from Proof. I love this bakery, so I'm so excited. It's nice crunch. That is how our people do that. <laughs> yeah. Knock, knock. I think kimchi from last croissant. <laughs> Let's <on> my knife. <laughs> nice. Inside it's fluffy and outside it's crunchy. Mmm, the crunchy part was a melted cheese. This looks very similar to Republic Croissant. Just by looking at it, I couldn't tell the difference, but we will see the flavor. Ah, delicious, speechless. Just have to enjoy this moment. Croissant dough part is a little bit sweeter than Republic one. It's a great croissant. I love it. Yeah, I'm very full. Next up from Proof, chocolate croissant. This is also very similar looking from Republic. Nice crunch. Oh, look, very nice. Mm. Whenever I get chocolate croissant, I heat it up in the oven. So chocolate is a little bit melty inside. And this is what's happening. If you go later in the day, sometimes it's sold out, so go early so you can, you know, choose. So last bakery is La Tropazienne Bakery. And I'm sorry if I mispronounced, I never took French class. So this one is Almond Pistachio Croissant. Nice green hue and raspberry. I've never been to this bakery before, but according to Annie, this place is very popular and it looks very fancy. I want to visit, period. Oh, I just remembered the worst kitchen injury. I cut my finger with bread knife and it's not clean cut, very painful. Wow, look, I think it's a pistachio match pan and I think it's raspberry. Very like a spring looking. Mmm, I taste matcha. Is it weird? Like it kind of tastes like Japanese pastry I had before. Like raspberry jam, kind of cut sweetness and gives nice refreshing flavor. It almost tastes like matcha mochi or something. I have to vacuum after this because <laughs> croissant crumbs everywhere. Almond chocolate croissant. I don't want this to finish, but I'm also so happy this is the last one. It's not bittersweet, it's like sweet. All right. I think this kind of melty part, it's, oh my God, it's falling apart. It's marzipan, I think. You know, Andrew always smell food, but I, this is maybe my first time smelling. I'll put a compilation of Andrew. 
Mmm. Again, I toast it a little bit. The marzipan and chocolate part is melty and it's very tasty. The top is crusty. It looks very different than other croissant. It kind of looks like scone. This is very decadent. I think, yeah, sharing would be perfect. But I think definitely a good croissant to end. It's almost like a dessert. I did it! A 10 croissants! All delicious, all different. If you live in LA area, I highly recommend you go to any of these places. Comment below where you get your favorite croissant and let me know and maybe we can do another round. Different city. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think New York has a lot of good ones. But now I want to eat salad. <laughs>